1973, John and Alice Tyler established the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement. In the years since, the prize has awarded 74 individuals and four organizations from around the world in their pioneering work in environmental science, policy, and economics. This year, the prize goes to Michael Mann and Warren Washington, two climate scientists who have not only advanced our knowledge of climate change, but also demonstrated exceptional courage and commitment to public policy. Before computers, our understanding of Earth's climate was only theoretical. Scientists were not able to calculate the complex interactions within and between Earth's land, ocean, and atmosphere. Recognizing the potential of early computers, a young African-American scientist named Warren Washington overcame extraordinary technical limitations to collaborate on the construction of one of the first ever computer models of Earth's climate. You think about what it must have been like in the 60s and in the 70s if you were an African-American scientist at that level to be taken seriously. Climate is a tough field to work in. Part of the reason climate science is tough is because the climate system is very complex. Warren Washington is really a pioneer. Before Warren, we couldn't even anticipate the future status of the atmosphere and how that was going to play into a changing climate. The computers at that time were pretty primitive. You were very limited in what you could do on those early computers. Warren Washington's global climate models really gave us a sound foundation for how Earth systems work. With increasingly accurate computer climate models, scientists began to suspect that the climate showed a pattern of warming that was unprecedented. But how could this be proven when reliable thermometer-based measurements only dated back a few decades? Michael Mann set about piecing together Earth's climate history. Something that nobody had ever done before was to bring in all this diverse information to reconstruct the patterns of climate back in time prior to the modern historical record. It resulted in this curve, which shows the abrupt warming of the past century, which coincides with the Industrial Revolution, to be unprecedented. Not only do the ice cores reveal this uh, effect, but so do the sediments in, of pollen in lake floors. So do the tree rings, and he brought all those data together. It established beyond any reasonable doubt that the current change in the climate system is outside the envelope of natural variability. But until Mike did the work that we now call the hockey stick curve, we really weren't able to say that for sure. Well, it's, it's clear that climate change hasn't gone over well with a lot of the public. We're often attacked by people from the fossil fuel industry Warren has, in fact, advised six U.S. presidents on both sides, both political parties. For him, it was not partisan. The climate skeptics were relentless. It very quickly devolves into attacking the guy rather than the facts that he's discovered. A full campaign from climate skeptics with cannons, hand grenades, and guns ablazing. Crazy attacks on Fox News and in the Wall Street Journal. They illegally hacked into climate scientists' emails. Hate mail. He received death threats, investigated by the Attorney General in Virginia. Sketchy, shady operations. The enormous political force of fossil fuel industry. All the people they were able to fund. Their goal of derailing the climate change science progress really failed. And this was where Michael man excelled and stepped forward and is an inspiration for all of us. The executive committee of the Tyler Prize chose Warren Washington and Michael Mann to be the recipients of the 2019 prize because they have incredibly advanced our understanding of climate change and in very complementary ways. As a result of Michael Mann standing up to the climate change skeptics, we're now on the right path for solving the problem of climate change. Mike Mann definitely deserves the Tyler Prize. His work as an environmentalist, as a scientist studying the environment, has changed the world. I'm delighted uh, to, to, to win the Tyler Prize because of the legacy of this prize. To be part of that group, to me, is the achievement of a lifetime. And I was delighted to learn that I was able to share it with a true hero of mine, Warren Washington. So much of the work that I do today relies on state-of-the-art climate models. Warren was there from the very beginning, and the models that my colleagues and I use today only exist because of the early efforts by Warren and his colleagues. 
I was extremely pleased to get that news because it showed to me that the work that people like Michael Mann and I have been doing is getting the recognition that hopefully it's deserved. I'm so pleased to see that Warren Washington is receiving this Tyler Prize. He's not the kind of person who seeks attention or accolades. You have no idea of what I had to go through to get an updated CV. My son, his middle name is Warren. Warren would say, like, you're kissing up too much, but I'm like, hey, you know, there are people that really do make a difference. He deserves this kind of recognition um, because of the work that he's done and the science that he's done and the contributions that he's made. But when he's had to do this as a person of color in a field that has so few people of color, he deserves it even more. These two men together have helped us understand this massive experiment that humans have unleashed on the planet and also helped us understand that there is no planet B.